Nick Antoine says, I'm going into a semester. How do I have a boost in productivity and start procrastinating? Good question. Um, examine your life previously and be like, you know what, man? I didn't really get a lot of fruit out of last semester. Um, you got to have a why that calls you to level up. You got to have something greater um, than the alarm clock to wake you up. You got to have something that keeps you up, that keeps you awake, that keeps you going, that keeps you willing to do the things you don't care about doing. Productivity and effectiveness boils down to doing the mundane things, doing the things you don't feel like doing. You would never be great if you don't feel like doing the things you can't do. You got to you gotta do what you don't want to do to end up doing what you want to do. And if you don't get that as a pillar in your mind and, and, and as far as work ethic and, and consistency, see, editing videos, chopping videos up, um, 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 writing sometimes can be, can be annoying. There's a lot of things about what I do that I don't like doing all the time, but I got to get it done. I got to make it happen. I got to sharpen my blade. Do I feel like reading my Bible every day? No, but I got to do it because I know that it, I become better when I do these things. So what you do is you look at your previous semester, say, you know what, the pros and cons, the good, the bad, the ugly, what contributed, what did contribute, what added to my life, what subtracted from my life, and then assess your life and say, you know, what? What must I do to ensure that I grow into a better version of myself? But you you got to have a greater why. You got to say, I want to be X, Y, and Z. I want to be the most effective, the most efficient. I, when you Because when you do things unto the Lord, you meet every expectation of man. You see what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that you're working not for man, but for God. Because when you work into the Lord, you will meet you will supersede the expectations of any man. The reason why I keep getting promoted, I keep having favor because I do everything in a level of excellence unto God. I work under his, uh, with such reverence in him. I work for him. And then by me doing, I, I know God is watching. <clears throat> and I know God wants me to be a better light. So I don't feel like doing this in my job, but I'm going to do my job. And because if you do your job, when you, when you no matter when your boss walks by, they'll never catch you slipping. Because you, because you know the boss of all bosses, the Lord of all lords is watching and he's calling his people to a higher standard. So if you begin to think along those lines saying, okay, I got to grind for God. I do this for God. Then when about time you get the man's expectation, you don't supersede him, but, but you also increase in the process. And so the best way to boost your productivity is to say, okay, what product do I want to, what product do I want to produce? Productivity means I have to put activity to produce a product. I got, if, if I want to produce great, greater character, if I want to produce um, greater uh, 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 work skills, if I want to produce greater skills, greater mastery, if I want to produce, I got to put activity into that product. If I, you got to write this, one, I want you to get a sheet of paper and write down the product that you want to produce. What type of person do you want to become? Write down every product. I want to better this. I want to have that. I want to have this. I want to have that. And then you got to look and examine and say, okay, what activity, what actions must I put behind this, this, this idea to produce it and to make it tangible? Because you can have an idea of who you want to be. You can have an idea of a way of life you want to have. But if there is no activity, we're not talking about a burst of activity. We're talking about sustained activity. You got to have something greater than the product, which is the person. God, I'm doing this for you. So even when I don't feel like it, I know your spirit will supernaturally sustain me and equip me to do it. That's how you continue to produce. You don't write these many books. You see what I'm saying? You don't write these books um, um, and, and out of thin air. Did I, that was, I, there was plenty of times where I was like, I don't want to do this no more. But I said, in, in order for me to produce residual income and residual impact, I got to put activity to these ideas. Because if I don't put no actions to these ideas, ideas left in the mind can't make you no money, can't bring you nothing in life. You got to put activity to the, to the type of product you want this semester to be. Hope they help. I got time for one more.